Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today I wanted to do a bit of a follow up. I did a channel with Freddie Mercury recently where I talked with him about glorification of death in his words. And in our words, our context of human reality, the idea of having memorial or a place where people can go to remember the spirit since usually we do that through like cemeteries or graveyards or um, memorials or monuments to that person, whether it be a statue or that kind of a thing or a place, you know. And so that video was pretty serious, I thought. Well, it wasn't, it was great. The context was great, but he was really specific about talking about the difference between who he is as a spirit and who he was as a person and how he's not connected to the Garden Lodge, for example, any longer because he's not a person. And so that's different. He's moved on from that energy. And so I want to talk to him specifically about that. I want to follow up and ask some questions that I think are going to be important for you to want to know. And it's super hot out here. I'm on my back deck and I have to wear my sunglasses. It is so, so bright. The sun is kind of setting over here and it's just really bright. So beautiful weather though. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can here in Minnesota where I am channeling from. So my cool glasses here to channel with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. So Freddie, he says, yes, <laughs> I have more questions for you. We need some advice. We, the viewers and I, we, we human beings need some advice, especially as your fans, as people who loved your work and just want to know everything about your life and are so interested in your career and your life as a person, as a human. How can we grieve? Because the grief process here in human body is very different than anything in spirit form, I think, anyway. I can only imagine, I guess, because I haven't just been a pure spirit and remember all that right now. I mean, you know, let's just say what it is. I don't know. And so we feel loss in human body. We feel the loss of your human <laughs> existence here but there's remnants of it. There's like historical things that places people can go and things people can actually tangibly touch like an album or, or a poster, a picture or read an article or see a video of a performance and feel you, feel the energy of you and capture that energy of your spirit, you know? How do we grieve? How do we grieve then? If there's not a place for us to go, like, the Garden Lodge in London, your home, your beautiful home, it just where you know you had your parties and you had your experiences of, of being able to celebrate your success and you know collect little art pieces and books and things and mementos and stuff and decorate it. And now there's like no access to it, no, it seems really not just private though see that's the thing it doesn't just seem private your home seems like a a scary haunted house or something i mean right right you guys have you seen pictures lately yeah it looks creepy there to be honest like what's up with that we're grieving the public the viewers want to remember you as a person because we want to feel a connection to you as a human that you were real as a person not you're not just a, a spirit guide you're you're a real person and seeing a house reminds us that you're a real person it reminds us that we can pursue our dreams and goals too give us advice freddie talk about this with me help me to understand i have so many questions about this like confusion it's just confusing how do we come to terms with this there's no place to remember you or honor you why what what can we do? What can we do with our grief? And he says, I don't know what to say about that. I'm not sure what to say about that. People handle grief in many ways. It's a very personal process and it's a processing of emotion, which is something that is completely unique to human reality. 
there's only transcendence from my perspective now where there is only love and it's unconditional which means the condition of having a home a place a bed to sleep in uh, grounds to walk trails to walk and flowers to sniff <laughs> There's no need for that for me now. Trying to relate to that old ways, the old memory of, of my life, as you well know, I can access and I don't always want to access it. It feels so much a, a hindrance. It's more of a burden for you. Uh, for for the fans of the music, they, they know that life is never ending because the music will always be. The harmonies and the notes will be something that carries such an important and powerful... It's a very personal experience the music and connecting with the music and the uh, the material things are not they're not of matter they're not well they actually are of mass and matter <laughs> but they're not important they are, they simply are not and uh, to explain how it is important for some and not others and the way in which people observe a life a lifetime is a, a personal choice and what you're really asking of me is if uh, you feel my my choice of of heirs was uh, correct and I feel that it, it was it, it was and I wouldn't go back and change things and I owe Mary a great deal and it's not it's not really anyone's business how she chooses to carry on now and and the truth of the matter is is the truth is is that she is the owner of garden lodge now and can it in some ways i do regret it as a burden to her as a burden for her when it wasn't never meant to be that way. I never meant it to be a burden for her to have so to have something to deal with or manage. And I, I didn't uh, didn't foresee her uh, living there, living out her days there, or having to be there. But to let it go stale and let it get cold and unlivable isn't something that I would have wanted either either way it doesn't really matter what is wanted because the desire of the spirit is simply to be in one in a whole state of being which is all that is possible as an afterlife energy as you know it is hard to be able to explain in a way that is going to be able to provide comfort for those who need it. The grief process is very personal and it isn't something to be uh, judged or um, rather it isn't something to be assessed by others outside and so too for Mary I feel in the human context of things the human state of affairs and emotion to give her space to do as she wishes it it is my it, it was my desire for her to do as she pleases with whatever i could leave for her and are there things that i would like to have seen different. Perhaps if, if there were time for me to really consider those things, those possibilities, uh, perhaps what you've got to understand is not, you, you don't want to face your own mortality and 
once you have crossed over into this, the place of not feeling, there, where there's no pain and there's only love, it's, it is uh, most difficult to come back and relate to the place where there is so much suffering. I don't wish it upon anyone. I don't wish anyone to feel pain or to feel lost because of me. I want you to feel alive, alive, and feel that aliveness in the music and the song, not in the, the physical places, not, not in the stages or the the homes or the, the concert venues or the, the, the places. Because those things, are, although, they, although it seems as though those things are here forever, that they are more permanent in stature, they're really not. They're really not, you see, it's not really it's, it's out of the need for security that we create this illusion that, that our, our houses and we build these structures and these, these things with brick and cement, concrete and wood and we, and we envision them as being solid structures that will last forever. And, 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 it's true, and it is true that these materials outlast us and our bodies many, many times, but doesn't have to be that way. And the realness of this is to know that those things, those structures are only temporary as well. They're only temporary. They're only a, a, a symbol or a mark of what it really is to feel home. And that is perhaps the most important thing. From a human perspective, home is very literal. It's very uh, real, uh, touchable, and you can see it with your eyes and understand collectively what this means and the, the symbolism of it, but you can see it. It's just something you can see and, and then know. And when you speak of the spirit, the afterlife, for me, the understanding of the, of the, the home is so, is so different than that one place. It's more of a, a collective, united bond kindness and, and love that is difficult for human words to use to describe. I wish there was more that I could say to help you to understand and I know that there is not much comfort in words that the emotion is what you seek relief from is the ease of the pain or or the the contemplation all of these reasons you make up in your mind why you can't see my my former home or my studio or my my the place where i made my music or the place where i played my music i understand the that the 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 mind can frame the the reality that that is historic in, in many ways. It's a context, it's a conceptual, it's a contextual, contextual reality of of understanding in a way that is based on the past and it's not, it's not current, it's not updated, it's not it's not what is real at this time. So this is what I can offer. This is what I can say at this time about it. 
I understand the confusion. I understand. And I don't believe there's anything I can say to help ease that for those who feel such a, a depth of sorrow. I, I'm really not gone. I've not gone anywhere. I've just gone into a state where you have to be a bit more uh, creative about how you can access me. Ah, okay then. Okay then. Thank you. Thank you, Freddie, for that. We'll try to be a bit more compassionate and allowing our grief to be recognized as a natural process as we move through that, as people who are awakening to your, the loss of you, who are discovering your music and then feeling that, oh, you're not here. And then there's this like human sadness, like they missed out on you. And seeing proof, tangible proof, pictures that you had a house, that you were a real person, that you had family and friends and that you, you know, your performances and your, the places you would like to visit. And it helps us feel like you're a bit more like us and not that we have to become more like you in order to access you, but that you have been like us. It seems more realistic to us, okay? But I understand here at Above Life Channel that the goal is to inspire people's spirits to fill them with hope so that they'll live their best life. And because of that, part of what you're saying is, is to bring people up so that they can feel the energy of their own spirits and their own soul, their own, their own ability to connect so that they can then pursue their life life purpose, life loves, life talents and skills and just to be themselves, to be an expression of themselves and that's what you're an example of. And so as an afterlife spirit, you're an example of that. You're also an example of relationships and heart-based connections and that's what's true in the afterlife as well. So thank you for sharing today. I do appreciate that and thank you for this follow-up video. Had to probe a little more about how people can connect with you in the afterlife and why is it that there's not memorials that there's not you know a, a gravestone for you that there's not the ability to even look at garden lodge it's not even welcoming you know why that is and and you i think have tried to expand on that a bit so thank you very much for the additional information freddie and thank you here, viewers at Above Life Channel. I'm Bridget, it's been my pleasure to channel with Freddie Mercury once again in the afterlife. Now there is a playlist here with all the Freddie you could possibly want. Go ahead and take a look at the playlist. Remember the purpose is always to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Every week on Mondays, I share new channeling videos from different afterlife celebrities with inspiring and insightful messages. Don't forget, to click on the subscribe button to make sure you get those notifications. But if for some reason you don't, pop back in on Mondays and you will get access to those new videos. Remember, this, this, this is your life. So live it, just live it. Thanks for watching, <laughs> bye.